7 News tracking a developing story. This dog shot and killed by an Adams County deputy. The deputy responding to an alarm and ended up going to the wrong address. And tonight, the Adams County Sheriff's Office refusing to respond to our calls and emails. 7 News reporter Amanda Koss talking to the frustrated and devastated dog owner. <laughs> Tears from a grieving man holding on to what he has left of his best friend. My dog was super smart. He had a vocabulary. I'd say, Ziggy, go get your donut. He'd go get his donut. All he wanted to do was play. That's it. He was a fetching dog, not anything. He fetched. That was, he wanted to play. That's it. And that's what Jeff Fisher says his dog was trying to do when Adams County Sheriff's deputies arrived outside his shop, responding to an alarm from a nearby building. He was on the floor next to me, and he, he ran out the door, and I called, I called my dog. He, <laughs> he turned to come back to me, and the police officer opened fire. He ran past the police officer at the door, and he just, he just wanted to see who it was, and the police officer shot him three times. Blood on the ground, where Fisher says the fatal shots were fired. I never thought that he, that's the way my dog would die. Now retracing Ziggy's last steps with his attorney, plans to file a lawsuit. It killed my dog for, for no reason, no reason at all. The dog's owner and his attorney are asking Adams County to preserve what evidence they have, including the body of the Blue Healer Border Collie Mix. And 7 News is asking Adams County Sheriff's Office tough questions about what happened outside this shop and will continue to stay on top of the story. Reporting in Adams County, Amanda Cost, 7 News.